the biggest time saver is definitely scheduling of events, without a doubt. The, you know, the proof is in the pudding. And when, when we started to really implement the features when I, when I came to the firm about six or seven years ago, some of the first comments from the other uh, folks in the firm, operations and on the legal side, were, how did you do that? Mm -hmm. How did you make it so that people could just enroll as opposed to sending out emails asking people, when do you want to attend? And then sending calendar invites. Or maybe they might have been used to systems that didn't allow for that kind of deep linking approach. Mm -hmm. Where you could say, you know, click here to enroll in this event, click here to enroll in that event. Um, that made it really, really easy for the users. And back in the day, we had, um, what we still do, this mantra, uh, we call it two clicks, ten seconds. Mm -hmm. So, we, the best user experiences are if we can get them to the information they need within two clicks or ten seconds. Tutorial helps us do that for sure. Um, one of my favorite, favorite features and one of my admin's favorite features is when we get users into the LMS, we can assign them to a supervisor. That supervisor can pop in, see what lessons they've taken, see the date, the time, how long it took them to do the lesson. The mouse tech scores, I mean, there is no hiding anywhere in this class for students. Mm, what, what we like the most is we, we really like the ease of use for, uh, from an administrator standpoint. The ease of the Tutor Pro LMS is uh, substantially uh, better than other LMSs that we've uh, had experience with. Um, the reporting capabilities, the scheduled reporting, it, you know, very timely feedback from our learners as they're as they're jumping in and out of our instructor-led sessions. Um, okay. As soon as we mark attendance, they're getting these surveys. They're responding very quickly. Uh, one of our questions is, "What other training would you like to see offered?" So, yeah. not only are we getting immediate feedback, but we're also getting sort of user-based perspective as well as to you know what courses do they want to see us offer in the future. <clears throat> the other thing that we like is that we don't have to rely on enrollments for the, the learners. We can send right. a learner link. Mm -hmm. We can embed that learner link for any course and people don't necessarily have to be logged into the LMS to run it. They don't have to search for it. We can just embed that uh, learner launch link and, and they can launch that course from their mobile or uh, when they're logged in so that that's very useful. The feature that's helped out the past, past few months is uh, are there learning paths? Um, so we actually we were gearing up to do the learning paths in February. Um, Chris and Melissa and I were discussing them, and then March hit. And so since March, um, we have you know recreated the um, the physical handouts that we would distribute. Uh, so even though we were we were remote, we were sending PDF files to local office so that local office could print them and have physical handouts. We're using the learning path for that now. Right. Um, we have we rolled out a new version of Chrome River um, in September, okay. and so we are using the learning uh, learning path for the application simulations, and then the the word escapes me, um, but. So you can do the you can do the application simulations, or you can equivalency the equivalency. Um, you can watch the two recorded classes we have, or do the um, simulations. So we're using that bit with the learning paths. So really, the learning paths have just been awesome for this year. With respect to the whole COVID uh, situation that we're in now, we're finding that the training numbers are higher than they've ever been. We've got uh, legal professionals who are um, actually voluntarily coming to training without um, without much uh, prodding, which is great. Um, and awesome. you know, we've, we've opened up an, a number of sort of national courses where it's not necessarily learning and development running them, but it's other departments as well, uh -huh. uh, such as fi finance, for for instance, and uh, and human resources. So we've seen a 35 to 50% increase in the um, 
in our courseware mm -hmm. uh, usage for e-learning courses. Um, and depending on the course, of course, but overall, it's about averages between 35 to 50 percent increase uh, over the last quarter. Okay. And um, the, the the two topics that seem to be uh, popular for this quarter is Excel and Adobe Pro. I, I know I've, I've said this before in other forums. It is easy to take for granted teachers how a system's ability to handle the basics, and it's you shouldn't overlook a program when you find one that does such a good job at the core functions of an LMS. And to elaborate, you know, what do I consider to be the core functions? One, the maintenance of a learning library. Right? How easy is it for me to get all we refer to as performance support? And that might be videos, recorded classes, uh, reference material, um, and anything in between exercises, activities. How easy is it for us to get those assets into the library? Uh, how easy is it for the learners to access it? How easy is it for us to maintain and track? Uh, and then moving to the events portion, a similar um, concern. How easy is it to schedule an event? Okay. Enroll, track the enrollment, mark people as attended, edit, modify, report on it. Um, and, and not just easy for the end user, but also easy for those of us on the other side. The administrative right? side. Uh, on the administrative side. And then we'll take it to, you know, one one more step, the administration of users themselves. Uh, how easy is it to get users into the system? Mm -hmm. Can we report on it? Can we group people? Can we deliver content based on, you know, whatever, you know, whatever way we decide to categorize our user population? Uh, and all of those things are done in a very smooth and efficient way. I'm fortunate that I have a long background in learning management systems, but you don't need to to use Turbo. And that's that says a lot. We have a um, a new set of assistants coming on board um, as part of you know the the remote living that we, we're doing. And all the all of them on that on that new team, they've just devoured all of them. It's given them a, a a clear method of what to of what in which order. Oh, that's mandatory, so I should watch that. Oh, I can watch that later. So we haven't gotten any direct feedback, but from what we've seen from the reporting, there's been a it's been very well received. Uh, we already had the LMS set up to the pro uh, really well uh, for how we wanted to use it within the firm. Okay. So it's just a matter of taking our time by slowly introducing the features that we knew people would get the most benefit from and the ones that they would appreciate the most. Um, and like just the, the ease of enrolling in classes. Okay. People take that for granted. And with the merger, lots of classes were going on and not just classes but firm-wide events that weren't even run by learning intelligence. And not, not to jump ahead in the conversation, but it, it was an indispensable tool um, just from that aspect, and that's barely even learning and development related. Never mind all of the the, uh, the critical processes we have within our department. That it's just it really is the uh, the, the to use a Pennsylvania term, the cornerstone. Sorry, uh, keystone. We might say cornerstone. Maybe keystone. Street. No, I knew what you meant. So, yeah. so with those simulated training. It's kind of that same thing. We're doing buffer polling with them, with the training. We're keeping them very guided, very step by step, very focused. This is what the task is. Here's the button to get you there. So then when we put down the bumpers and they're playing in the live software, they know what they're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. You know, they've seen it perfectly before. They can walk their way through. And I mean, the retention is, is, is skyrocketed in um, that from that method, for one, we were using textbooks and live software. Um, you know, grades were lower, retention levels were lower. Uh, the quality of the teaching was was lower when we switched to tutor pro simulation to teach how the software works. Grades went up. We saw um, you know classes that 
schools that have classes that were struggling to get students into them were now adding double sections because the class became so popular, students were wanting to take it. And now they're adding more sections and finding more seats. So, you know, so, I mean, just phenomenal things have been happening. Um, thanks to all the, the hard work and the, and the, the super pro has brought to the, to the category. You know, and the technology was able to match the dream that I had. And that was really what, you know, really what allowed us to become so big and to, to achieve so much is, is having the right tech partner. And TurePro really has been the perfect pair. You know, and as you know, you know, there's a lot of people in the space. I get a lot of sales pitches from other companies coming going, hey, you know, you should take a look at our stuff and you should. And in five minutes, I have been so frustrated with, here's what I need, here's my demands, here's what I have to have the function, here's what I got. So they're going, okay, you know, maybe we're not the right choice to do that. And so many companies, I think, get into this, this statement of, we're so busy dealing with today that we forget to look down the road of where we're going. Um, I think that's what has always made Tudor Pro such the perfect partner for me is we're always looking so far down the road. And so I know that my tech isn't going to get updated. My goals aren't going to get updated because Tudor Pro is already thinking six months, a year from here, what am I going to need and already working in that direction. Uh, yeah, so you just, I just haven't found anybody that even comes close to having that kind of business mentality when it, when it comes to, to partnering. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. They, it, my only regret for the last couple of months is that I've had meetings that, that conflicted and that I couldn't attend. Um, love the recording, but then I can, you know, so I, I missed it, but at least I'm still getting the information. Um, it's a really great, I love them because it, it's very easy, especially this year, to kind of feel like you're in a bubble yeah. and you're doing things alone. Mm-hmm. And then you get on, you know, these client family webinars and you hear from, I think, um, I think Luda, Luda's my favorite. Um, she'll, she'll bring a comment or she'll have a suggestion. And I'm like, why didn't I think of that? That's a great idea. And you know, yes, please say that they're about to do that. And so they're they're really they're a way to keep connected, even as we're all you know virtual. I easily fall in love with my own ideas. Okay. <laughs> and sometimes when when a person is prone to that, they're they stop thinking about other new ideas. Okay. And when I go to these webinars, I hear other people's ideas, and I think like, wow, that, that's a really different approach. approach. Um, some of them are just novel and interesting on their own right. Others, I even I go, yeah, we should we should try to incorporate uh, portions of that into what we do. That's that's I can see the users really benefiting from it, and that's right. That's the main um, point of all this, right? To to help our users. Right. Network. Perfect. You know what, for us, just the client experience, um, being back in the Tudor Pro family, um, it's so great to be here. We know that we're well supported. Uh, we have a very dependable uh, set of tools in the Tudor Pro suite, and um, and just the ongoing connectedness and sharing uh, again amongst the Tudor Pro family is extremely beneficial. I would echo what Brent's saying. Um, it really comes down to the the level of support that we feel that runs behind the scenes. Um, I never feel like I can't ask a question. Um, I get my responses from support within you know a, a minute or two, even if it's thanks for looking into that. Um, sure. And and I never have to wait for anything. Um, the worst feeling in the world is is launching a course for the first time and having you know, users experience something and, and then not being able to get a hold of somebody. And that's never been the case with Tutor Pro. 
um, you guys are, are, as far as support goes, um, you know, it, it's it's refreshing and it's reassuring for mm-hmm. for me as the administrator of of it. And and you've always spent the time to, uh, you know, show me how things work. And um, re, you know, our our client success manager knows what a client success manager does, right? right they're really. they're anticipating, you know, <laughs> this is you know this might be a problem or or you know try it this way. Um, and so I I just feel um, I feel tremendously supported by Tutor Pro. Don't change. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, we were, we actually just met with Julie. Um, I think mid last week. Okay. And one of the things that Melissa, uh, Kristen, and I said is the level of support we get from you guys is has always been amazing. It's one of the things that we rely on really. We love you guys. Thank you so much for the level of customer care that you guys provide. Um, I'm just going to parrot what I've heard other people say because I agree with it 100, percent and that is um, they're they're awesome, right? You send an email, you get a response a few minutes later. You delete every user in the user library, and you call up the panicking, and five minutes later, they're all back again. I'm just saying, I know a guy. You know that. I didn't follow the directions. I remember that. Um, and that's, that's right. Yeah, I think you're right. Yes, that's right. Uh, and yeah, responsive understanding. And I think one of the things that I, I like to make sure I mention whenever I do talk about this is the nimbleness of, of Tutor to Pro and adding new features. Um, and how we'll send emails and say, hey, it would be nice if it did this. And lo and behold, four months later, six months later, depending on how crazy the feature or how new it is, the feature's there. And you're like, wow. And sometimes the funny part is I'll forget I requested it. And then on one of the product releases like we got today, uh, you know, I'll see a feature and I'll go, oh, that's a great idea. And I'll say, oh, it was me. I'm the one. Huh? No, I don't want to write that idea. Back to fall in love with my own idea. Uh, so that's great. And I don't know many products out there that uh, that you can say do that. It's a, it's, it's, you know, it's, you know, Tutor Pro went from being a company I worked with mm-hmm. to being extended family. You know, they're just, they're so phenomenal to work with. There's so much fun to hang out with uh, at the ILTA and go to the ILTA conferences. And I think I would spend all day out of their booth just chatting and and spending time with the team. They're just fun. Uh, and just unlike any other company that we work with. There's a lot of different companies, but, you know, the Super Pro team is, is family. That's, that's just what they've become to me. And it's nice. I, I feel like if they give me their word, I can, I can rely on that. You know, I don't have to be, I'm sitting there pouring over contracts and be going, okay, this is what you promised. This is what you didn't. Oh, this is here. Here's what it's written. I don't have to worry about any of that like I do with a lot of other companies. With Tutor Pro, when Claire tells me something, I can believe it. I can take her at her word because I know the Tutor Pro company just has that level of integrity in everything they do. I know the quality is always going to be high. I don't have to put it through my own quality controls because it's going to come higher than anything I could ever expect. That's what it would be. I mean, it just, it, it's there. When they tell me they're going to build me something, they're going to build me something good, it's going to be good. It will be phenomenal. Um, I can just trust in that. Um, so I, I, I love that about working with Zero Pro. Mm-hmm. 